In this video, I'm gonna show you simply how to add Perplexity into N8N because N8N does not have a current integration as of October 8th. So in order to add Perplexity and take advantage of Perplexity, what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna utilize the HTTP request tool that N8N already has and connect that to our perplexity because then we can save that and utilize that for our other automations uh, because once it's set up then we can copy and paste that into other automations that then we can utilize uh, perplexity moving forward so the way to do that is you're going to i just have some dummy data here where i'm just grabbing uh, some media articles that are coming in and i want to summarize that right so let's go ahead and add a http request tool that we're then going to add our perplexity APIs and connect that together so that way we can basically use perplexity and edit in. So all I have to do is go ahead and click on this add node. So I'm gonna search for HTTP request, click on that. All right, perfect. So now we have our HTTP request tool here. And as you can see, there's this one media link that's coming in, which is an article about SAP launching this collaborative AI agent, which we want to utilize as uh, perplexity to summarize the article. Because if you were to add, um, a, again, a ChatGPT or a Grok or um, any of the Llama models, then you won't be able to summarize that because it won't have access to the internet. However, we can utilize perplexity here to get that done. So you're gonna leave the everything as it is because we need to head over to perplexity. You're gonna come down here on next to your username and click on this gear icon. So this is gonna pull up the settings. We're gonna then head over to the API tab. And as you can see right now, I have uh, $4.82. $4 so you need to just add or just click on buy credits and add uh, a payment method. Just put $5. Honestly, that's enough. Like it could last you for a long time. $5 is going to last you for a very, very long time. If you're just using it for personal use or even for business, you know, it's going to be um, plenty. So go ahead and do that. And then you're going to come down here and click on generate API key. And as you can see in the bottom, I got a new API key that got generated. So you're just going to copy that. You're going to head over to Perplexity's API documentation, and that's just docs.perplexity.ai. Uh, you will come to API reference. And then right here, so it says chat completion. It only has this one section here. It's called chat completion. What you need to do is this API key that we just generated, you need to copy that and paste it here. By the way, I'm gonna delete my API key, so don't think about copying it. And that's an important point, actually. Do make sure that you're not sharing your API keys because then people will have access to your credits here and they can empty that out quickly. All right, anyway, so what you need to do is you need to make sure you are at curl here, right? And on right here, when it says authorization, as you can see in the bottom, yours will be empty. So let me just get rid of this. And there you go, this is what yours is gonna look like, right? So you need to just basically copy and paste that new token that you just generated, the API token. Oops, I think I got that wrong. Let me go back, I didn't copy it properly. Copy and paste. All right, perfect. Now that that's done, and on the right side, as you can see here, the authorization bear PPLX and you have that uh, secret key or the API key that you just generated. So now all you have to do is go on the top right here and click on copy. And now we can go back to our N8N and on the top right hand corner right here, as you can see, it says import curl. That's why I said it's very important that you are making sure that you're in the curl tab because they have the Python, JavaScript and all these other uh, different sections, but make sure you're on curl. So once you copy that, you'll come back to your N8N and you're going to click on import curl and you're literally just going to paste it. That's it, right? And as soon as I do that now, as soon as I click on import, you'll see that all of these existing parameters are gonna get populated. If I click on import, there you go, perfect. See, everything got uh, populated. Initially, uh, the method was git, the URL was empty, everything else was empty. Now, all it basically populated everything. And on top of that, the most important thing is on the bottom right here, this is what kind of came over and this is exactly what this is, right? And I'm gonna show you how to change that to be able to utilize perplexity basically inside N8N. All right, so let's go back and let's take a look at a few things because we need to change a few things. Again, everything else, don't touch it. It's all good to go. You need to create this once and now you can basically utilize this on all your future automations or AI agents that you can create. 
All right, so let's go ahead because this is what we need to change right here. So I'm going to click on expression right here because we're using JSON uh, expression below here. So I'm just going to click on expression and click on this little button. You need to manually change the prompt inside the system role and then also the user role because this is kind of a hack uh, because uh, and it then doesn't have integration with perplexity hopefully they'll add that in the future but in the meantime this is the best thing we can do because it's the easiest way to utilize perplexity and you want to make sure that you're using the proper model that says online at the end because that way you will have access to the internet so right now i'm using 3.1 sonar small 128k online so we need to provide a prompt for our system and then also for our user and in my my case uh, we're only summarizing this article based on this link so therefore i'm just going to get rid of this get rid of this and then type so i said summarize the following article in detail because that's literally all i'm doing is i just want to have a summary of this article and we need to identify what this article is right so in the user content rule right here i'm going to get rid of this and all I'm going to do is type article and let me go ahead and grab the article now that's coming in from our previous media. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab that right here. And perfect, as you can see right here now on the result, it says content article and we have the, the proper link right there. That's literally all you have to do. Oh, one more thing, actually. So you see right here, it says max tokens is optional. You want to make sure either get rid of this or identify a token. And um, I'm, if you want to limit the token, or in this case, I want to do, I'm just going to put 500 um, tokens because this is going to be plenty to summarize a small to medium uh, length article. And in, that's, in this in majority of the cases, that's going to be plenty. OK, so everything else, don't touch it right so depending on what your use case is let's say if you are doing something different let's say you want to look up somebody's name and the name is coming in let's say if you're scraping um, the ceos of different startups and you're utilizing another tool to grab those names from linkedin or something like that then you will just drag let's say um, a name in here and on the system message you will just say look up this person for whatever you're looking for right and then on the bottom the content uh, uh, for the user uh, you will just drag that name and then make sure that all of the relevant uh, details that you're looking for so perplexity could search for it is all inside the user role okay so but for our for our cases we just want to uh, summarize this media link we're good to go here so let's go ahead and back out of this and now all i have to do is click on test step oops Let's go ahead and test our step and make sure everything is good to go. Yeah, that's good. Let's test the step. And if we did everything correct, this should just summarize this article for us. Executing node. All right, perfect. It looks like it worked. Let's check and make sure everything is good here. JSON, the content, the article. Let me move this a little bit here. The article from CIO discusses SAP's recent announcement at its 2024 Tech Ed conference focusing on the integration of collaborative AI agents and introduction of SAP Knowledge Graph. Perfect. And I think that's exactly what this article is about. And to confirm, we can go ahead and um, take a look at this. And again, you can, um, you know, read through this because that article is there to make sure that it got properly summarized. So now you can back up and attach further note to this where then you can uh, utilize this output that's coming in so now you can add another uh, set note that you can separate the content of this article in different json objects so that way you can grab whatever you need or again depending on what your use case is what you're using perplexity for uh, you can add further notes to be able to utilize uh, this perplexity tool now and i'm also going to go ahead and name this perplexity all right, so that's kind of a hack on how to use perplexity inside of NNN until they uh, pro provide an integration for us. All right, well, hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, utilize it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and obviously, I'll put the link to my school in the description below. So if you want to take advantage of more templates that I create, the AI agents that I create, all of that is going to be available for all of my school community members. And please make sure you like the video and subscribe for more upcoming great tutorial. I'll see you on the next one.